Well, it does not seem to be the case. The joint statement as announced by the Master of Ceremony earlier will be made available for all as a document which you may want to use in your operational or dialogue with your government bodies. Now with this, if there's no further questions, I would like to end this joint statement announcement this morning. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, and, and I think the um, session following this will also be the presentation which is under the topic further. And the uh, second sessions will be also under the topic current status and issues of logistics in ASEAN. And the speakers will be um, the same person who is actually the chairman of International Federation of Freight Forwarders Associations and Advisory Board vocational training from Singapore. Once more, may I invite Mr. Thomas Sim. Please give him a big hand. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, I, in the program, uh, it was mentioned that there was a break. So I apologize uh, for the setting up. I thought there was a coffee break where we could set up the equipment. It does not seem to be the case. Now, I shall continue with the first segment of the presentation. Now, we, know, we all know that logistics is one of the pillars for building an ASEAN economic community. And this is characterized by the free flow of goods, people, and services across the ASEAN member state. ASEAN Logistics Roadmap and a Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity are crucial strategic documents for achieving connectivity across the ASEAN member countries. ASEAN set a goal to further integrate its members' economies as a way to enhance the region competitiveness. At the 2003 summit in Bali,